the worst GD private server is a server created by Troller, with the intent of only the worst of levels to get raided. With the server's recent growth in popularity due to Return for 20 and worse box getting popular on YouTube, I wanted to look at the most downloaded levels and see how they hold up today. Spongebob Circles is a copy of 9 Circles by Zobros, but with the color scheme changed to yellow instead of red, and Spongebob Pixel Art copy and pasted all over the level. It's quite a boring level honestly, but I understand why it's popular, as it has the funny factor and is a pretty old level for the private server standards. I rate this level a good 5 out of 10 in terms of quality for this server. It's funny, and it's memorable. Nubus Landscape by Neoraptor is Neoraptor's first level on the server, and it's pretty good for what it is. It was the cover model for the worst GD private server demons list for a very long time, and is also one of the owner's favorite levels to my knowledge. It plays pretty well, and looks pretty good for the server standards. I rate this level an 8 out of 10. Gerald Demon by Brandicola is one of the most accessible hard demons on the server. It's decently fun to play, but it's mostly a layout, so it's fairly uninteresting to look at. It did eventually spawn a trilogy, with the third level still being in the top 15 to this day. I rate this level 2 out of 10. It's fairly low effort, but it's pretty funny and also pretty accessible. Back on Death by Chris Chan is widely considered to be one of the worst demons on the server. It's also one of the easiest, being the second easiest demon according to the demons list. It's a sequel to the first demon ever created, Stereo Death Raid, but it honestly isn't even as good, which is impressive because Stereo Death Raid is terrible. I rate this level 1 out of 10. It wouldn't be rated nowadays and it probably shouldn't have been rated back then. I honestly have no idea why this level is so downloaded other than the fact that it's pretty old. Like there isn't anything going on and it's pretty uninteresting and most of the level is in auto. I rate this level 1 out of 10. What is going on? This level is a sequel to the already popular level Imposter Club, but it has since surpassed Imposter Club in popularity. This level is also considered one of the easiest easy demons in the server. I give this level a 4 out of 10. Its deco is uninteresting, but its gameplay is kind of okay. Freedom 69 is the first level in the trilogy, which contains this level, Lake Mo, and Return 420. Honestly, this is the worst level in the trilogy. It looks terrible and plays terrible as well. It is pretty funny though. I rate this a 5 out of 10 out of humor alone. This level is the first level in the Fire Gauntlet, which explains its high download count. I feel like it's not a hot take to say that this is the worst featured level on the entire server, but I don't know. I rate this level 4 out of 10. The Oxy Spam is kind of ridiculous, but outside of that, it's a pretty okay level. Except the end, which is a huge choke point. Shadowclism by Swift is one of my favorite levels on the server, and I'm so glad it got the downloads it deserved. It's hilarious, challenging, and really, really fun. I rate this level a 10 out of 10. It's perfect for the server. Also, yes, I did die in 92, but we don't talk about that. Yes, my own level is the most downloaded level on the server, and honestly, I have no clue why. It's not good, it doesn't look good, and it doesn't play good as well. The only thing that keeps this as the most downloaded level is its age and its name. While I do hate the level, I do appreciate it for reinvigorating my interest in Geometry Dash and making me more active in the worst GD private server community. This level has introduced me to so many wonderful people, and I don't know what I would be doing without it. I rate this level 1 out of 10. It's terrible, but I've learned to appreciate it over time. Yo, bro. Yeah. You got a napkin? Yeah, of course.